Hello students, welcome to our JE Prep channel. Hope all of you are doing well. Today we will be doing one sum on the accelerated motion. Now let us read the problem. A scooter accelerates from rest for time t1 at constant rate a1 and then it returns at constant rate a2 for time t2 and comes at rest. The correct value of t1 by t2 will be. So they had given us these four options. The first option is a1 plus a2 divided by a1. Second option is a1 upon a2. Third option is a2 by a1. While the last option is a1 plus a2 divided by a2. Now let's see this. Uh, let's see how to solve this problem. Now a scooter is at rest at point A. Then it reaches point B. Now when it moves from point A to B, it accelerates with acceleration A1. And after time T1 seconds, he reaches point B. Okay. Now at point B, the scooterist applies brakes. So therefore scooter decelerates, scooter retards with acceleration minus A2 and comes to rest at point C means this negative acceleration minus A2 will be there for time t2 seconds. Now let us see how to work out this. We know the very first kinematical equation that is a V is equal to U plus AT. V is equal to U plus AT. I'm going to use this equation. Now here initial velo for the motion from A to B initial velocity is the velocity at point A which is 0 and the final velocity is velocity at point B that is V therefore V is equal to 0 plus A1 T1 because acceleration is A1 here for time T1 seconds so therefore I get equation V is equal to A1 T1 now let's go for the motion another uh, motion of the scooter from B to C from B to C the scooter retards so the acceleration is a negative acceleration that is minus a2 and that is for time t2 seconds. Therefore here initial velocity is the velocity at point v that is v. Final velocity is vc is equal to 0. Therefore vc is equal to vb plus at final velocity equal to initial velocity plus a into t. Final velocity is 0 initial velocity is the velocity at point b that is v plus in bracket minus a2 into t2 so I will get another expression for v as a2 t2 now you must have realized that equation 1 and equation 2 gives same thing that is a velocity v so I will equate these two equations and I will get t1 upon t2 is equal to a2 by a1 hence the correct option is c I hope you must have understood this problem and students, if you want to improve your uh, performance in JE examination, I strongly recommend to subscribe our channel. Thank you.